What's up guys, Virtually Chris here. Today's video is a review of the Comma 2, which is a device that gives your car level 2 autonomous functionality thanks to Comma AI's OpenPilot software. I've been testing the Comma 2 with OpenPilot installed on every drive for almost a month now, and I'm ready to give my full review of the device, which begins shipping January 20th, 2020. Kama has a great installation guide on their YouTube channel, which shows how to install the whole system in a Honda Civic like mine. It really shouldn't take more than 15 or 20 minutes. OpenPilot is fully open source software that upgrades your car's existing lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control systems. It features automatic lane centering, assisted lane change, as well as stop car detection, cut-in detection, and more. OpenPilot supports 63 different models of cars, from brands like Acura, Honda, Toyota, Hyundai, Jeep, Kia, Lexus, Subaru, Chevy, GMC, Volkswagen, and more. So it really does work on a lot of cars, with more being added every update. OpenPilot is consistently having software updates that improve how it drives using the collective driving data from the fleet. So every time anyone has a drive and uploads it back to Comma servers, they're using all that data to improve driving. I use OpenPilot on all my road trips now, and it makes the drive so much more relaxing and enjoyable. It's hard to communicate this when you've never had a system like OpenPilot before, but a large portion of driving is menial. Examples of this would be slightly adjusting the steering wheel while cruising down the highway, or moving from the gas to the brake pedal repeatedly in stop and go traffic. These kinds of things are what makes driving so fatiguing, and OpenPilot does all those adjustments for you so you can be more present in your environment, and be far less fatigued as well. OpenPilot even performs well in the rain and at night, so anytime you're on a road trip or having a long drive, it's there to help out. Depending on your car's steering command limitations, OpenPilot also does pretty well on side roads. It's a pretty fun experience if your car can support that. I've consistently went over an hour without touching the steering wheel on my long road trips, only resuming manual control for taking an exit or stopping along the way. It really is a life-changing experience. 